I'm Nixie Pixel and you're watching OS Alt. I'll be your tour guide on our journey through the good, bad, and ugly of open source. This week we're going to talk about nonlinear video editors, something I've spent a lot of time getting to know. Unless you have a hundred grand to spend on the system, <clears throat> avid. There isn't a clear winner when it comes to video editing, so I've chosen to compare the most popular programs, Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, versus the open source challenger, Kaden Live. Oops, sorry, little penguin. Part of the Adobe CS 5.5 Creative Suite, Premiere Pro runs on both Windows and Mac and is one of the best editors available for the Windows platform. I like Premiere Pro because it's extremely powerful and well supported with lots of add-ons and effects, a lot of which you pay for. It handles almost all file formats under the sun and it runs stably on both Mac and Windows. I don't like Premiere Pro so much because it's very expensive. Are we seeing a trend? Especially if you have to purchase the entire CS 5.5 Creative Suite. It doesn't have the most intuitive user interface and it's a very steep learning curve. I'm still learning things about it. And some of its features, such as color correction, doesn't work as well as in Final Cut Pro, IMO. <laughs> rhyme. If you are a professional video editor and using Apple hardware, chances are you are using Final Cut Pro if you aren't using Avid. The current version is Final Cut Pro 10. Some of the reasons I like Final Cut Pro are, it's super powerful with great feature sets and a lot of effects available. It's easy to learn and use, it looks really pretty. And it supports most file formats, though of course it works best with Mac specific codecs. Some of the reasons I don't like Final Cut Pro is it also drains your wallet, especially if you have to buy Mac hardware, which is far more pricey than Windows-based hardware, of course. The most recent version is nowhere near as powerful as the previous version, Final Cut Pro 7. Again, remember this is all my opinion, and it can also be unstable at times. You need lots of processing power. Now what we'll do here is we'll go to the Project Tree tab, which is in the left, and click on it. And then we can either right click and add clip, or we can drag and drop the files that we want. Sadly, one area that open source programs haven't really progressed is video production. Some promising projects are coming soon though, such as Lightworks and Lumiera, but programs like Kaden Live just aren't as commonly used. Its current version is 0.8.2.1 and it runs on Linux and Mac OS X. Let's see how it stacks up against the competition. Why I like Kaden Live is it's free to use and open source, and it has a number of decent sets of features and effects, especially for that free program. Why I don't like Kaden Live is it's buggy and unstable. It's not a professional level because it lacks key features that can be difficult to work with, and it has little technical support available and few people creating effects or transitions for it. I give Kaden Live two stars as an alternative to Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. Its main benefit is that it's free and it's one of a very small number of nonlinear video editors that run on Linux, but in its current state, it's hard to recommend using it over even the free Windows Movie Maker or iMovie if you have access to a Windows PC or Mac. It may offer more features than they do, but they're far more mature and stable. When I have nothing else to use and I've turned autosave on, I generally enjoy using Kaden Live. But honestly, I think open source video editors like Kaden Live need to come a long way before I can recommend any of them as true alternatives. Those of you who have suggestions for awesome video editors, just please let me know. If debugging is the process of removing bugs, then programming must be the process of putting them in. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Talk nerdy to you later. Thanks for watching OS Salt, man! That was Brooklyn. Yeah. I'm Nixie Pixel and you're watching OS Salt. I will be your tour guide. Tour, tour guide, please don't be Midwestern. Talk nerdy to you later. Now, now we're going to London. Are we good now? I did it.